Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video on upgrading to Windows 10 for free. Now, you may have seen my other video, I've got a link to it here, where I suggested there are 10 reasons not to upgrade to Windows 10, or at least not yet. And this is uh, recorded in, in just the 1st of August in uh, 2015, when Windows 10 has just come out as of July 29th, officially. Now, if you have on the screen of whatever operating system you have, this little window down here that says Get Windows 10, and you click on that, and it's really pretty easy. You can see on this particular machine, uh, the free upgrade is already on the way. Otherwise, just follow the steps and you can get a, an email confirmation or even skip it. It's really no big deal. When it's ready, uh, based I think on the availability of uh, their server load, then it will be downloaded to that machine and you'll be up and running. Now, as always, I do recommend backing up all your data first. If you don't know what you need to back up, please just hold off and figure out where your data is and how you're gonna back it up. I've got a lot of other videos and blog posts on that. But if you don't see this little window, then you might be saying, okay, what's up? How do I get my free Windows 10 upgrade? And that's really what this video is more about. So we have here, this is the Microsoft site and you can see the URL, I've got it. You can click it below, uh, be a little bit easier, but upgrade to Windows 10 for free. And it talks in of course about uh, going for that little uh, window icon. But the thing is, if you don't have that, then you need to do something different. Now, as an aside, if you'd like to be able to create a USB drive or DVD to download this once and upgrade multiple PCs, or just to be able to uh, upgrade a machine at will, then click here. I'll try to do another video on that. But the question is, what if you don't see that Windows 10 icon? As they say, first try running Windows Update and install any available required recommended updates on Windows 7 or 8. But in my case, uh, on some of the machines I've tested, you still don't see the icon. So click here and you get some things that might be confusing to some people. Now, first off, you want to be able to go to a command prompt, and uh, the way you're going to want to do this, well, I have a command prompt on the screen, but you may not. If you go to start and uh, select and just type in command prompt, you can see there it comes up. Right-click it and select run as administrator, and then select uh, yes if you get this pop-up box. And you may need to enter an administrator password if you are not an administrator. And go ahead and type in slmgr space forward slash dli, just as it says in that box, and hit enter. And it looks like nothing's happening, but hang on just a minute. Okay, now you can see it is Windows 7 Professional description, but here is the key. It says retail channel product, and the keyword is retail. As you can see here, retail, OEM, and volume are the apparent uh, options there, what you might get. Now, if it's not retail or OEM, it does not qualify for the free upgrade. If it's, if it's a volume license, uh, basically a corporate uh, license or something, it's not going to work. You're not going to uh, you're not gonna get a free upgrade. If it is retail or is OEM and you've run all the Windows updates, then you want to do a couple of other things here and see where you're at. Windows 7, here are some instructions to make sure you have Service Pack 1 installed. If you don't, get it. Uh, Windows 8, there are some other things to do. What I actually had to do on the most recent machine is run these commands down here. And this again is uh, if to run the command prompt as administrator and type in this kind of strange uh, set of instructions. Now, when they come back blank, that is when you do not have these updates. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you here. Hit enter and just wait for a minute. And if it comes back with some information, then it's, then it's installed. But in this case, it just comes back to command line. You're like, what the heck's up with that? Well, what you have to do is go back and, you know, like in control panel, or Windows update, or just uh, do uh, start and uh, type in Windows update, come in up here at the top and click on that. And you're gonna check for updates. And this can take a while. Don't ask me why, I think it has to do with Microsoft servers being busy, especially right now with the Windows 10 upgrade, they can be very busy. Here you can see there are 63 optional updates. Now if we scroll down here, that number I typed in, and I don't think you can do a, uh, a search here, but they are in numerical order, I believe. And here it is, 303-5583. I did not have that, so you check that box 
And then you can look also for the other one, which is 295-2664 right there. Check it. And you can install those updates. Now, if you're watching it closely, you might see it say it is creating a restore point, which is always nice, and then installing the updates. And you have to restart in order to finish the installation. Now, one other thing that we might do here is actually change the settings on Windows Update. And tell it to go ahead have it checked for updates and also say give me recommended updates and hit OK. One other thing is check to make sure you have Internet Explorer version 11. And here you see it is Internet Explorer 11. And uh, I don't uh, I don't use Internet Explorer anymore. Uh, Windows 10 comes with a replacement, which actually might be worthwhile for the first time in a long time. And now it's telling us we have a lot more important updates available and they are selected. Now, naturally, we could have done this all at once on the previous, some of the previous updates, but I want to demonstrate how you can specifically seek out those two particular updates that they insist that they be on your machine. And, of course, we have to restart the machine again. And, of course, there's always these configuration steps, and just have to be patient. Now, if you're not sure if you have Service Pack 1 on Windows 7, but if you just go to the Start, uh, click the Start button, and type in System, you can just uh, click on System right there. I'm going to set Professional Service Pack 1. So we know we have Service Pack 1 on here. And then at this point, given a short amount of time, you should see that Windows 10 icon pop up again, which, uh, which looks like this. It's this window at, a, at an angle there. And when you hover over, it says Get Windows 10. And that should take care of it for you. If not, there is uh, there's additional information on this support document at Microsoft. And again, I've got links here. You can click and go to it. Uh, if you are interested in Windows 10 and want to get it going, hopefully this helps. Otherwise, again, I've got a link to a video I did as to 10 reasons why you may not want to upgrade to Windows 10 at this time. There are a number of people that have encountered some issues. But uh, again, make sure you've got backups. Make sure you are really ready for it. And also uh, make sure that your equipment is ready for Windows 10 and Windows 10 capable because uh, there's a possibility that your, your device just may not be compatible with Windows 10. But the troubleshooter should inf uh, inform you of that. And here again are these uh, specifications. You can click on that link right there. So that's it for this video. It was a little bit longer than I intended, but I hope it's been helpful. Please subscribe, uh, check out my other videos, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.